it's a fake. I meant what I said. It's not the real thing. Well, then where did the actual ring go? It says it was on display in last in 1967. But what are we supposed to do? This ring was supposed to go on display this week. I guess we'll have to wait. The display will have to wait. Federal Bureau of Investigation, Art Theft Division. This is Agent Wagner. I'm just gonna need a few details about the case. Do you have an approximate date for when the ring went missing? 1967? Okay, I'll be over in about 20 minutes. May be difficult to track down the ring. Are you absolutely sure that the ring could not have gone missing during the 50 years that it was in the archive? Yes, we are fairly certain. Our archives have been sealed. So who has all had access to the archives? Since we're a fairly small museum, we've hired a limited amount of people. In fact, Ms. Welsh and I are the only ones here who currently have access to the archives. At the time when the ring was on display, I think there was only three employees. So can I get a uh, contact information for those three employees? Unfortunately, they've all passed since then. But I suppose we could get you the contact information for their closest relative. Hello, this is Agent Wagner with the Art Theft Division of the Federal Bureau of Investigation. I'm calling about an art theft at the City Museum that happened 50 years ago. Um, the theft may have involved your father, Francois Delane. I believe the theft may have involved your mother, Pamela Paulson. The theft may have involved your grandfather, Richard Burns. Uh, since he's deceased, I'd like you to come in and answer a few questions for me on Tuesday. No, no, it shouldn't take too much of your time. Uh, thank you, Mr. Burns. I'm hoping to make this quick. I only have a few questions for you, so I shouldn't take too much of your time. Good. I have a meeting at 845, but hopefully this will speed things along. These are the documents my father kept in all the exhibits. He's a very particular man, you see. Um, can you describe for me your father's work routine on a daily basis, kind of what he did at the city museum? He went to work early and spent most of the days at his desk, researching other exhibits, contacting clients about purchasing or borrowing artifacts. He took punctual breaks at lunch and in the evening that would allow him enough time to peruse the exhibits, explain the history to visitors, or reprimand the kids who were touching the exhibits. He was a stickler about the no-touching policy. He had the same policy towards the cookie jar at home. Did I hear you say that your father had a network of clients for buying and selling artifacts? Yeah, he had to in order to keep the museum stock circulating. No one goes to a museum with the same stuff sitting there, right? Did your father ever mention a, uh, a ring that was on display about 50 years ago to you? Yeah, probably. I don't remember one in particular, though. He was so proud of all the artifacts, he always went on about their history, their craftsmanship, their worth, their beauty, that sort of stuff. Keeping track of the condition of various exhibits and knowing every detail about them was his obsession. He always worked late. At the end of his day, he would gather his things, walk through the museum once more, and then leave. That's about all I can tell you about him personally. You should be able to find everything else in the records I just gave you. Now if you'll excuse me, I have a meeting to get to. Uh, this shouldn't take too long. This is mostly just a formality, you understand? Can you tell me what your mother did at the City Museum? My mother was the receptionist at the museum. She took care of some of the paperwork, um, selling tickets, organizing large groups um, for visits, things like that. She also became fairly knowledgeable about the whole arts and artifacts, you know, history kind of thing. During your mom's time there, did she ever mention to you anything about this ring in particular? Yeah, I, I think she might have at, at one point. She um, mentioned it. The only thing that she didn't like about it was the fact that it was too big for her finger. How would your mother know that it never fit her finger? So it was her job to turn off the lights and lock up the building. As a result, I assume she had time to look at all the exhibits before she left and probably compared. So your mother had keys that gave her access to the building at pretty much any time she wanted? Of course. She was the most responsible worker there. My grandfather was at the museum the latest, or the earliest, depending on how you look at it. As the museum's janitor, my grandfather would prep the museum for opening in the morning. This meant he'd start his day off around 3 a.m. and be finished probably around the same time as the other museum staff would arrive. He was a rather solitary guy. Not that he wasn't likable, I mean, I loved my grandfather. He was a very thoughtful and creative guy. 
One of my first memories of him was when he gave me a lava lamp, which he had built. <laughs> I still have that old thing in my room. Did your grandfather seem to enjoy his job? I don't know. He wasn't really the type to complain. It was kind of a thankless job, though. No one seems to notice that all the dirt and trash that people brought into the museum was disposed of in the morning. All the grimy fingerprints left on the Do Not Touch exhibits were carefully wiped or dusted off by my grandfather. So everyone could enjoy the exhibits another day. So your grandfather came in contact with the exhibits almost every day. Yeah, he had an eye for detail, but after years of taking care of expensive art and artifacts, you kind of have to. Did he ever mention anything about a ring? No, not that I remember. He was always working on making little crafts or paintings of his own that he later gifted to us kids. Thank you very much for your time. I think that's all we'll be needing for today. Now, you said you're heading off to college today, is that right? Yeah, I'll be a freshman this year. Well, hey, good luck with that. Thanks.